Go ahead and hit it now. Keep in it, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> The I-O-W Network. Back. Like we always do about this time. Often wonder podcast gang gang. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What up? World, it's your boy Walk Come on in the building. You know who that guy is. Detroit Mail, the man with the grandmaster plan for anything IOW network related. Uh BB out there getting the bag, Black Bubba Walters. Man, they slaving her. I know. Oh bro. man. Uh you know she's still part of the crew. It's just <laughs> that I, I need y'all to understand that in this food industry right now, there's a lot of people that are not going back to work. Even I want that money. No, 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 no. They're getting paid more sit to get unemployment <laughs> to sit at the house because <laughs> of the whole pandemic than to go over there and slave over some, uh, you know, some hot heat and slinging groceries. So, uh, you know, to each his own. It does what they want to do. But hey, BB's uh, benefiting from us. She's getting that bag, <laughs> getting that bag, getting that money. <laughs> but let's get all the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all the house cleaning, the preliminary, right. preliminary, preliminaries, right, 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 all right. the stuff that pays to be out the way. Y'all going over to the website, W, mm-hmm. W, all right. W all right. dot I often wonder, 19. <laughs> <laughs> <dot> com <laughs> is a website where right. you get all the information of everything IOW Network related. That's us. Y'all could go over to the uh, Patreon. Right over there. Go cop the merch. Get that merch. Get that merch. Get that merch, you know. Always, uh, hoodies, if you, if, yeah, hoodies, sweatshirts, um, face masks, coffee mugs. Yeah, oh yeah, we got that. Um, too. only thing we're missing is contraceptives, but I mean, other it's than coming. that, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Got the I, uh, IOW network IUDs, ultra ribbed. <laughs> <laughs> we got it all. We got it all. No, sir, <laughs> we got it all. It's, this conversation is already going on into a weird we the, <laughs> rabbit hole. Nope. We got the eye off the one, the gloves, in case you want to do cavity checks. No, we got it all. We got it all, bro. We got it all. <laughs> Play doctor right. real quick. I don't, I don't know, know how you get down, so I want to make sure we cover you in every aspect of your sexual you know, uh, life. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> or just you. in life in general. <laughs> in, in life in general. Hey, we're just COVID-19. Hey, just COVID-19. Sure, hey. You got to make sure you're protected. Protected. You know, in all shapes and sure. forms, full body suit. <laughs> we got the IOW Network I, gip suit. Yeah, we need a whole IOW Network bubble. You, you know, know be like Bubble Boy. Like bubble Boy. Yeah, be like Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> <laughs> with that logo on it. Right. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Uh, oh, but wow. no, we're, we're we're cutting up already. So this it's conversation, Lamar, yeah, Lamar. this uh, this conversation is getting nuts already. Uh, but for real, that's the uh, my, that's my the my website. Team. Everything's there. Um, oh, go ahead, keep talking. Most importantly, you can always go. Um, if you are an Apple or iOS user, go over to your Apple store, go download the IOW Network app. Um, uh, if you love music, you love podcasts, that is the app for you. Uh, same for you, Google, and uh, for your Google Play, uh, for the Android users, it's available. It's I period O period W period, no space, network. Um, Type it in just like that. The app will pop right up. And then you can hear both of our very uh, masculine voices over your radio network app uh, uh, podcast. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of content over there. Um, 
speaking of uh one of the contents on there uh I, is am i okay to, to spill okay. the beans that white vault is going to be on there yeah yeah so white vault is going to be on there um and speaking of white vault we have a contributor to white vault right. that has decided to join the conversation with us today um you know what go ahead and spill the beans who, who we got who we so got today we with have, us? if you follow white vault we have uh Dr. Karina Schumacher, or Shoemaker, I'll say her name wrong. <laughs> She'll correct me. <laughs> I know it's Karina. <laughs> Dr. Karina. That's that's the character. <laughs> right, that's the character. Uh, she go by uh, Cassie. And, uh, her last name, I know she might uh, say, uh, she might get me because I don't know if I'm going to say it right, but um, Relinger or Relinger, I'll let her correct me. <laughs> You know, I got the. Uh, that's Lexus. why I gave it to you. I got the Lexus all over. No, that's why I gave it to you, bro. <laughs> but, uh, I know my limitations. <laughs> but if you watch, I mean, I watch you listen yeah. to White Vault. Yes, she's in the first season. Yes, she's the one that gets killed in the first season. Yes, unfortunately. But what really drew me to her is when I heard the interview with Travis and Katie mm -hmm. with her. I said, she's a ball of fire. We got to get her on the Yeah, show. and that's exactly how he texted to mm -hmm. me. He's like, yeah, we're having her on there. She's a spitball of fire. She's a spitball of fire. <laughs> Goodness gracious, right. spitball of fire. <laughs> but without further ado, we're going to bring in Miss Cassie. Hey! <laughs> how you doing today? Doing fine. How are you? We are wonderful. Yeah, we are wonderful. We are live. We kicking and can't complain. So, uh... <laughs> How, how how bad did I jack your name up? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the first name right. That's something. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> That's fifty <50%. laughs> percent. Pretty good. The last like, name is uh, Reliniki. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, right. Oh, Reliniki. you were far off. <laughs> uh, uh, you were, it's right. like her, her name was over here. And you were I way had over here. In front of me, that way I would remember. I was like, is it Reliniker? <laughs> really? Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh Lord. But um we had to get you on the show, like I said before, because we like to talk to interesting people. Mm -hmm. And then I don't I know heard... what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> so we That's exactly why you're here. Right, exactly why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> but um we I enjoyed your interview with Katie and um and Travis, Travis. Yeah, you know, it was I, I was riding the car like laughing the whole time. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. And so I said, uh, I said to Lamar, I said, we're going to get her on the show. Well, I asked, first I asked Travis and Katie first. So they gave me your, your contact information. And one of the things I want, I want to mention that I liked about uh, what you did, she's like, well, I don't know why you want to talk to me. I, I looked at, I listened to some of your podcasts and, you know, I don't know uh, what you want me for. <laughs> 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 and I just started laughing to myself. I was like, you yep. got to get her on yep. the show. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, podcasting, voiceover, uh, is it voice acting? How did you get into that? Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, by accident, um, more or less. By I, I've been uh, in the audio drama community since two thousand and fourteen, okay. and I've been I've been like an administrator and a, a avid listener of the uh, an, a podcast that was called Audio Drama Production Podcast at the time. Okay, and I started doing cover art for a lot of the podcasts then. Okay, and everyone basically knew that I was from Germany, and mm -hmm. uh, Travis approached me when they wrote uh, White Wall. They were like. Or, or rather, they posted in the Facebook uh, Facebook group that they were looking for a voice actor who was native German. Okay. And um, I uh, I was like, I never voice acted. I can try. Sure. <laughs> 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 and uh, but I originally wanted to uh, give it to my sis because she she wanted to do voice acting more than I did. Okay. Um, so I uh, I brought the microphone to uh, to work and we recorded. Um, some uh, auditions for them back then, but they were like, no, 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 we want you. And I'm like, okay, right. sure. You're lost. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mentioned that you're from Germany. Um, what part of Germany are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from Bavaria, but I'm living in North Rhine-Westphalia right now. Okay. okay. Uh, which is where uh, Cologne is, if you know where that is. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's uh, like, it's near cologne i'm still two hours away from cologne but okay, okay. for all intents and purposes yeah <laughs> so um 
<laughs> in Michigan, we have a place called Frankenmuth, and it's a barbar- <laughs> barbarian um, village, mm-hmm. so to speak. So we go up there every year, and they have a German Christmas. I don't know how, uh, how authentic it is because never been to Germany. Yeah. But, you know, um, the biggest draw there is the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> you got to have, bar- <laughs> have a Bavarian chicken, though. Know? And so, uh, I don't know. Is that popular? Is it live chicken or is it uh, um, grilled chicken? <laughs> what are we <laughs> talking about chicken. here? It might have been li- alive okay. before, but it's not alive on my plate. It was live at one point. <laughs> right. um, okay, um, I'm glad. <laughs> I prefer it's not alive while I eat it. So chickens, that's something popular there, or is that just uh, American, an Americanized version? I mean, uh, we eat chicken too, but like, uh, <laughs> if you're like eating Bavarian stuff, it it um, the more authentic. You said it was Bavarian, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If it's more Bavarian, then it would be uh, pig. Oh, really? Pig is more the yeah. Pig is more okay. the Bavarian dish. Okay. 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 Well, kind kind of describe some some of your native dishes because we're both cooks, yeah. so we could talk about <laughs> we could talk about food all we day. Both, uh, connoisseurs. <laughs> yeah. <food>. Yeah. <laughs> we're both connoisseurs of food, so kind kind of kind of describe your your native uh, cuisine over there. Oh Jesus! Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want Bavarian dishes, uh, you would probably have like you know sauerkraut and yeah. um, fuck what are they called? I don't know what they're called in English, but they're klöße. They're like these uh, potato balls. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And um, together with some, hmm, I don't know what they're called. Like just some meat slices. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. It's like steak, but like uh, cooked in 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 sauce. Oh, like okay. Salisbury steak or something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't eaten meat in a long time, so I'm a little oh. shaky on the English terminology of oh. uh, of meat. No, no, no. You're okay because he's he, <laughs> he, he he's vegan too. He's vegan oh, okay. too. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm big because I eat meat. So. I mean, Germany in general is very well known for like the, the sausages to make. So yeah, um, right. uh, one thing I noticed that is very different from the vegan stuff that's uh, available in the US to mm-hmm. the vegan stuff that's available on the German market is that they mm-hmm. try a lot more uh vegan sausage alternatives okay uh, like... oh, okay <laughs> hey, you come to germany yeah I, love, I like i like well i like the uh i don't know if y'all have uh what's it uh god well i can't think of the name when the name of the company um, Daya? no the sausage people the meat uh, uh, beyond 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 sausage oh yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. from from yeah hmm? i yeah. know what you mean yeah i eat a lot of those plant-based uh, sausage they got like uh well, they have um, uh, Italian sausage, beyond Italian, and beyond um, regular sausage, uh-huh. like Brockwurst. Okay. So, you know, in Germany has so Germany has so many different sausages. Sausage I would love to see how the vegan version of those Looks, are. Yeah. They look yeah. exactly like sausages. Okay. Uh, I have to come over there and taste them. I love. That's one thing I like. <laughs> Have you so have you tried mo- a lot of them? Are they good or? Yeah, I I um I try them all the time. Like when there's new something new out there, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm trying this. <laughs> <laughs> Just a curious mind, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I got that's, you. <laughs> that's part of why, like, I'm a vegan too, but I used to be vegetarian. But like, uh, at okay. some point, I couldn't eat uh, eat eggs anymore, so I was like, mm-hmm. eh, I might as well f- go full vegan, whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm 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 doing like um. Uh, the the challenge of just trying out random vegan sausages because they're on the market they're there supporting the <laughs> the creators they put some effort into this and they're uh, clearly like catering to the German palate right um, instead of importing all the the American pre made stuff like of course we have some bleed from the American market but mm-hmm. like uh, they do tend a lot to the to the German palate by creating all these uh, sausage alternatives, or like there's also alternatives of typical Bavarian dishes. Right. <laughs> okay. And Bavaria is known for having a lot of stuff that's like meat based, like um, what is it? Uh, a loaf of meat, meatloaf. Yeah, like a meatloaf, yeah, but it's much okay. more fine, fine, okay. uh, finer mixed. Uh, it's really? called a Leberkäse. Yeah. 
A who? And um, there is a, sorry, like, a labor, labor oh, case. <laughs> labor, labor case. It sounds like pate. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Like, like, almost like a pate. Yeah. Uh, or yeah. some kind of podcast. I don't know. And, <laughs> <laughs> there is apparently a vegan alternative to that, but I haven't found a shop that sells it because it's very, like, Bavarian-centric. Um, okay. So I haven't found it here in North Rhine-Westphalia. <laughs> <laughs> so what what actually uh, made you go very vegetarian first and and then vegan? Right. Um. So at first I got. <laughs> it's a bit controversial because I'm going to say I got tired of the taste of meat and now I'm trying vegan alternatives to meat. <laughs> but <laughs> but, um, but I did get a little bit tired of like just having meat in my fridge because. Uh, I have like you were going to mention this at some point anyway. I have a lot of bunnies, so my fridge is always <laughs> stuffed full with, with vegetables. Right, and right. I'm like, I don't actually want to have meat in here, like on top of everything. I might as well throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, we're gonna take our first commercial, commercial break, break <laughs> and we will be right back. Do you have an upcoming event and you need desserts? Billy J Sweets can take away all of your worries while you relax. We can prepare scrumptious, delicious, and professionally catered desserts for your event. We offer a wide assortment of cakes, pies, and pastries to ensure your event will be one to remember. Call us at 704-685-7584 or come to the website at millie-j-sweets-treats.square.site. Remember, Millie J Sweets. are back yeah, we, we back. back we back we back we back, we back. back. it's the i hey. often wonder <laughs> podcast your boy wild Carl Mar in the building detroit mail and we are with a special guest miss kesey 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 i know i'm <laughs> <laughs> jesus Christ. i was doing so good don't worry about it i was it doing happens. so good it happens <laughs> I have a friend in Michigan that does the exact same thing. So <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, is when it when I was trying to first pronounce your name, I was like, I was like, Kalichi, like, 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 like <laughs> almost um Game of Thrones, but I was like, no, that's not it. So it's like, yeah, hey, bring it back. <laughs> There's no L in there. <laughs> I hear you in triplicate right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it came out on mute on our side. Yeah, you scared Here me because I was like, <laughs> I, I thought we was in a warp. <laughs> Like a time warp or something. <laughs> Had me scared for a moment, bro. <laughs> but um, so for those who would who saw that, we saw the bunny picture of uh Cassie and her bunnies. I want to know, yeah, how did you get them so big? Yeah. Tell them they look like puppies. <laughs> yeah, those are decent sized uh, bunnies. Right. Keep, keep them away from Americans because they will become rabbits too. I'm just letting you know. Oh no. <laughs> Especially so down I, south. <laughs> right. So two of uh, two of my rabbits are actually like giants. They yeah, so. they were bred as meat rabbits, but uh, like I adopted them um, from okay. two people that um, I most of my bunnies come to me by accident. I don't actually pick them. Mm -hmm. I just hear from someone like, "Oh, we have like a bunny. Do you want them?" And I'm like. Mm. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like they didn't have to pull your leg, though. <laughs> so, how uh, many bunnies do you actually have? Uh, I I personally own six, but I am currently housing three additional ones um, because their original home is uh, being relocated. So, I'm taking mm. care of them right now. So, so you're uh, like a shelter for bunnies, and yeah, like yeah. for homeless bunnies. <laughs> Basically, yeah, <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> That's hilarious. Three squares in a cot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like the bunny whisperer over here. Right. <laughs> so um, I'm going to play something. Yeah. Let's see if you recognize it. It's a beautiful day. All is calm and peaceful in the meadow. Or is it? If you look closely, very closely. <laughs> You'll discover a whole new world with a world of difference, full of exciting adventure and desperate conflict. We've got to go away from the Warren, all of us. Go away? Yes, before it's too late. Is there something wrong? I want to see you all about. They're coming. 
coming. A world of ruthless tyranny and brave rebellion. I'll settle with you myself, big week. Come on and try, you crack brain slave driver. A world of incredible courage and mortal fear. A terrible thing is coming. What do you mean? The field. It's covered with blood. A world which bears a very curious resemblance to our own so-called human world in many ways. You're all under arrest. Under arrest? What do you mean? What for? Spreading dissension. Inciting to mutiny. Did you recognize that? Watership down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, of course I recognize it. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard that's what kind of got you into bunnies? Uh, no, not at no. all. <laughs> not at all. Oh, no. Yeah, because <laughs> listen to the... Far yeah. away, like on the opposite side of bunnies. <laughs> I'm like, no, get those fuckers out of my face. I'm not talking to those. <laughs> Um, but I, I watched those movies when I was like, I think I was eight or something, and okay. I had a childhood trauma, and I'm, I don't know how I ended up with bunnies at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of the exact yeah, opposite get, happened. Yeah, how yes. you get from now to bunnies? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I like the way I like the way you describe me. You're talking to Kelsey and uh, Katie. You said it's uh, known to be the most horrifying, um, mind fucking children cartoon ever because it's yep. about rabbits that slice each other up and you see all the guts flying about and blood flowing out of them and yes i watched when, that when i was eight i like the way you describe you should be a movie critic yeah that's the best way to describe it <laughs> i mean that's not even a critic that's just a summary <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna keep that that movie away from uh, my five and three year old. <laughs> I don't want to traumatize them. <laughs> so keep it away from eighteen years olds too. Just <laughs> eighteen. Wow. <laughs> just don't even watch it. Don't close your eyes. <laughs> Better chances watching the thing or something like I don't know <laughs> some horror. <laughs> so um, I heard that you actually do art too. Yeah, I'm uh, like that. That's uh, the first. I'm I'm first an artist and then a bunny mom. <laughs> <laughs> Prioritize it. Right. So yeah. what kind of art do you do? Uh, visual art. Um, mostly I just uh, paint like characters and environments. Okay. Um, but I also do like um, what's it called? Um, like I, I um, make things out of stock images. Fuck, I fo forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> ah, matte painting. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it happens. I I do that all the time. What was old boy with the with the fro? He used to paint. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Put, a, put a little drop here. <laughs> yes. What is his name? Yes. Oh, some trees. trees. Yes, yes, happy little trees. Yeah. I forget his name. <laughs> but I know he died like a few years ago, and it was like everybody was like, no. <laughs> I, 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 I already did. No, no, he. he I know, saying when I found out, like, yeah, yeah. Was already, oh, oh, you yeah, thought yeah. he was already gone? Like, oh, <laughs> no, he was still alive. Yeah. It's funny that my Mountain Dew did a uh, a recreation of, of yeah, his. So, yeah, uh, yeah he just paint oh little little water droplets on that mountain. Oh, that's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> so is that how you paint? <laughs> Uh, sort of. I don't. I don't narrate my paintings. <laughs> Do you put on a little Afro wig while you paint? <laughs> Pretty I mean, trees. I always have these uh, these headphones on, and my uh, ex boyfriend used to call them Mickey Mouse ears. So, <laughs> sort of. M I C K Y M O U S E. I know I had to serenade real quick. So, what other um <laughs> projects um are you on, or have you done? Um, uh, I'm I'm also like uh, writing. Uh, I'm not currently, but I I've written a um, long form series, a high fantasy audio drama called Counterbalance, which I'm currently in the process of producing and like okay. recording, producing it. Um, I do that like when I'm outside with the bunnies. Uh, funnily <laughs> enough, I got myself a, a, um, a Surface tablet just so I can work outside. <laughs> <laughs> Those come in handy. Okay. They do. Yeah, I, I like Surface tablets. So when I was um, when I was watching some of the stuff you did, and uh, 
and I, we was talking earlier about the um uh, I'm probably gonna mess it up again. The uh Wolflinger, Wolflinger, uh, Wolpertingers. Yeah, Wolpertinger. I don't know. Why, yeah, Wolpertinger. <laughs> just jump in at right. any moment. Just, just take it over. In, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what are different? What are the difference between them and um the jackalopes? Yeah, the jackalopes are like the boarding Wolpertingers. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um so Wolpertingers aren't actually just bunnies with uh antlers and wings. Okay. Um. Wolpertingers are like all kinds of animals that hunters in Bavaria used to make out of like animal parts and just sewed them together. I don't know exactly the reason. I assume they wanted to to fool people. Um, <laughs> but uh, whenever you encounter uh, an animal that's just body parts sewn together uh, and stuff like taxidermy, ta okay. taxidermically sewn together, okay. um, that's a, a Wolpertinger if it's from uh -oh. Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Walker Tinker. That's it. Walker Tinker. Yeah. That's how, it sounds like a sick prank to play on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds was, like. I actually saw in your intro that there was a, this woman with a Walker Tinker thing on her, yeah, on her shirt. <laughs> I, I did that because of you. I did that for oh, you. Oh, you did that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Topical. <laughs> I try to uh, make some of my intros fitting to the people that we're talking ah. to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he he he's the executive producer that puts everything together. I'm just here for good looks and conversation. So that's how we work. <laughs> so um what is the the myth or the legend behind the um Warfare Tingers? There isn't actually a myth behind them. I just like um I just got in touch with them when I went to a like a um, like an artsy fair or whatever okay. the fuck that was uh, like with my dad <laughs> like um, people were just displaying all kinds of handiwork they did there and mm -hmm. you could buy it and there was one stall that had Wolpertingers there mm -hmm. and that's how I got to know them my dad told me about them who went with me to that fair at the time okay. that hunters would just do that and they would try to sell it or like not to not to their families mm -hmm. not not for money but just you know that just telling them it's to the story like okay. oh look i found this thing in the forest and i shot it and no <laughs> one's ever seen anything like this before it's so unique and i i'm the only one that has one like this <laughs> that's what and they it, did and, <laughs> <laughs> and the jackalope was just a rabbit basically with antlers yeah, that's basically just what a jackalope is. That's why I'm saying like a jackalope is like a boring wolpertinger. <laughs> if you don't even have wings, can you even call yourself a mythological creature like a... <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Until I um start researching you, I never heard of them. Yeah, never. Like, well, what? A whoop or what? No. Varga mm. Nugan? <laughs> 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 they also exist yeah. in like other parts of, of Europe. Like oh, really? in, in Yeah, in... In oh god, I think it was in Sweden they also exist, and okay. in Poland. I don't okay. remember what the Polish one is called. The one in Sweden is called Squader. Oh, um, okay. But the the concept is basically the same. Hmm. Behind See, it, I learned something. That's I, what I'm saying. saying. <laughs> I had no idea anything <laughs> like that ever existed. Had a name to a it. Lot of, a lot of people didn't know about it. Like I, I yeah. made that. I made an audio drama about them and mm -hmm. I played it at the uh, audio drama festival we had here in Germany mm -hmm. uh, or rather I, I uh, sent it into them and I got picked as uh, I, I, um, they have like a little contest where the jury picks like their favorite of each category and right. I won in, in uh, English uh, English language uh, audio drama there because I was one of the only three <laughs> submissions of that year. So <laughs> tough competition. And, yeah, and um, the the jury asked me on stage, and they also said, even though they've been to Bavaria before and like they've lived in Germany all their lives, they've never yeah. heard of a creature like that. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, it's very rare for people to know about it. Like very few people know about it. I enjoy the um audio um drama that you did on the i don't know why i keep having trouble with the name <laughs> wop with finger tinger the thing the, the funny looking animals with, the, <laughs> with all the different parts <laughs> tinger right 
Go play yes. Tinder. Okay. Go play Tinder. I don't know why. Some reason it's like it's not sticking up there. It's like stay. <laughs> there's a lot of shit that didn't stick up there. Yeah, uh, slow down there. That's <laughs> why at some point in the in the script when I wrote it, I just uh, shortened it to Wolpies because that was easier for all my voice actors who were not at like German at all. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know without giving it away. But I, I liked it. I liked the way you ended it with the leg and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like that. I was like, oh, okay, because at, at first I was like, okay, I wonder what she gonna, what she gonna do when, mm. when, well, I just said when it, when, you, when she when the um mm. the mother, what was it? What was the uh, the mother called again? The uh, chimera. Yeah, the chimera. When she pulled the leg off, yeah, and then put her leg on top on her on a lady's leg, it was wild. Then the milk was coming out, and then mm-hmm. the little uh whopper tingers. Was sucking the milk off her leg. Oh, and I was like, "Oh wow!" Off her cheats. <laughs> right. off, off her cheats. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I uh, vividly remember we had like a Zoom call where like all the voice actors that were involved in it were do- doing like a table read or a dry read, mm-hmm. and um, they were basically saying because the last word in the script is teat. Or tit, uh-huh. I think, on my yeah. tits. <laughs> and we're like, I like a script that ends with the word tits. <laughs> we do too. We, uh, I like a uh, meal that ends with that. Yeah, I like yeah. a work day that ends with that. Yeah, anything yeah. that ends with, with with that. It's always yeah. a good day. Always a good day. It's been a great day. <laughs> <laughs> we get ready to go into another commercial break, and we'll be right we'll back. Be right back. <laughs> do you feel sluggish and tired? Not getting enough sleep? Are you looking for a more holistic and natural approach to your health and wellness? Well, the healing component has just what you're looking for. Our body butters, bath bombs, teas, and other CBD products will assist you on your journey to holistic health. Follow us on Instagram at The Healing Component. And we are back. We are back. We are back. I off the Wonder Podcast. Your boy Wildcard Mar. Detroit man, and we are back with oh, this. That'll be me. Yes, that'll be you. <laughs> we we are back with our special guest who is joining us today, uh, Miss Cassie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so we 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 often like to um you know dig a little bit deeper. So right. So the first part of the first part of our podcast, we just like to yeah. you know get the surface stuff. Now mm-hmm. it's time for the investigation. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, no, it, no, not investigation like that. Like you oh, committing no, crimes. Or... In the basement. <laughs> so I did not get through? rid of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your childhood like growing up in Bavaria? Oh, uh, um, different. <laughs> uh, it was rather unusual, uh, mm-hmm. a rather unusual title because I'm uh, half Asian and uh, that was not uh, the, a, a norm in Bavaria where I grew up. <laughs> so, I yeah. Can see that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, mm-hmm. I don't like remembering uh, the, the earliest childhood because there was a lot of racism going on. Mm-hmm. But at some point, I got transferred to a different school that was a little bit more accepting. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we it, could we could understand today. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. I we can understand. Know America. We yeah. understand about the race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we understand that quite well. <laughs> well, besides the negative part, yeah. Um, what about growing up? You know, about in, in Germany, because I'm sure growing up in Germany is different than growing up in America. Mm-hmm. You know what? What are some things that that is unique to your upbringing in Germany? Hmm, that's a good question. Besides the sausage and the bunnies. <laughs> well, I didn't have bunnies until I was 16, so not basically my childhood. <laughs> um, that's a tough question because I don't have something to compare it to. But okay. I think the the mo- like the difference might be like our school systems are very very different, which mm-hmm. is something I always notice when I am trying to explain um, our our different school systems to okay. Americans. I'm like. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, hold on. I need to go take a step back and start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly because uh, we have like um, 
we go from kindergarten to oh fuck what's this called ground ground school <laughs> oh, oh wow <laughs> i think it's i don't know like what's what is your school system like the, the first school you go to uh... oh so it's kindergarten or uh, well, well, uh, preschool if, oh preschool we call uh, it preschool yeah okay. then we go from preschool to kindergarten to kindergarten first second third then first grade or fifth it's, but i'm saying what's the name it's called grammar school Oh, it might be yeah. grammar school. Yeah, uh, elementary. Elementary. elementary school. Oh, elementary yeah. school. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> and after elementary school, you're like you can. Uh, then we there, have there middle are... school, which is we, sixth to are... eighth. Yeah. Okay. After fourth grade, like we can choose, not choose, but like depending on our skill set or like uh -huh. how intelligent we are, there right. are three so or coming. four different school systems we can go to. Okay. <laughs> Which is usually where the confusion starts. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to go to, uh, it's called, like, if you tra uh, translate it one by one, it's called high school. Mm -hmm. But it's like the lowest form of school that we have. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I used to go there. And uh, after, like, seventh grade, I switched to Realschule, which is, like, I I don't know what they were thinking when they named it, but it's basically real school. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, that's where I, like, I think that's equivalent to your high school mm. or college, maybe. Okay. So, <laughs> so I guess your lower school, like you said, uh, more like a junior high, high middle yeah. school. Middle school for us. Yeah. yeah. So it might have, be, yeah. Yeah, we had like middle school. Yeah, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Right. So basically at the fifth grade, you go into six, seven, eight, which would be middle school, mm -hmm. and then you go into high school. I yeah. think it goes until, oh, I think it's until ninth grade, eighth, eighth or ninth grade uh, is okay. how long those schools usually last. But okay, but yeah, so that's it's, um, it's kind of basically the same thing. It's just the grade levels are just different. Uh, yeah, but like after fourth grade, mm -hmm. like um, the 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 um, your path basically splits in in three parts and you can oh. choose one of them depending on your skill set like I got you. if you okay. are a super high you. intelligent person you go to gymnasium <laughs> <laughs> okay or you go to high school which is like for dumb people <laughs> hey, hey it actually it actually sounds right hey se se separate the idiots from the smart people hey smart people go this way hey you dumbasses go this way <laughs> maybe we should have did that in america i mean america, we could it could have could have weaved out a lot of problems i'm just saying yeah, maybe <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other discussion. Yeah, that's a whole yeah, <laughs> whole that's a discussion. Old discussion. It probably take a whole day right. and and multiple shows. <laughs> so have you ever seen the show Grim? Uh what was the name? Grim. No, I don't I don't know if they have it in Germany or not. I I don't recognize the name. Okay. Yeah, I don't recognize oh, it. Oh, you, you don't seen Grim either? Uh -uh. Well, y'all need to watch Grim. Um was it like science fiction? Well, so Grim is basically um, it's a basically about has a lot of German folk folklore in it. Oh, okay. And, oh, I think I heard about it. And it's based yeah, on it's well, about Grimm's Tales, right? Right, Grimm's Tales. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. That and I was going to ask you if you've seen it. How how true is it to some of the German the German folklore that they tell? When they start, well, let me say the first thing to start off telling more American, um, like nursery rhymes they did, mm -hmm. Three Little Pigs and stuff like that. As they mm -hmm. started getting more and more, they started moving more to the because they made a lot of reference to uh, Bavaria mm -hmm. and stuff like that and stuff in Germany. Then they had a character who actually was from Germany and things of that nature. And I was like, I hope she's seen this show so, so I can ask her. Trash. And now she haven't seen it. And now that just messed the whole segment up. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, tap a little commercial break now. <laughs> uh, but um, I, I did want to ask you about um, your writing st um, style. Is there like somewhere where you draw your inspiration from when you get ready to write? Or are you writing from like past experiences, or how does your writing style go? Yeah, what sparks that? What sparks that? What sparks that? What sparks that, 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 that creativity? That creativity. Um, that depends on what, uh, which, um, which show you're uh, looking at. Like, okay. Wolpertingers is definitely very different from how I write Counterbalance. Right. Um, 
So, uh, is there is there one specifically? So let, let's, let's, let's go with uh, counterbalance. Um, so counterbalance is basically, um, I wanted to make a show that was inspired by, um, hmm. so the basic of, his, of it is that I have uh, as few people as I can uh, I can possibly put into a show to keep the production low, <laughs> right. but also at the same time, maximize like the, the impact that it can have by making mm -hmm. it very physical. So okay. uh, a lot of the, the, the um, scripts are very physical, like written to be physical because I wanted mm -hmm. to challenge the, the actors to uh, okay. like really come out of themselves. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I wanted to put in there. And like language is a big, big uh, thing I wanted to put in there and the okay. interaction between characters. And one thing that inspired me uh, a lot were like, um, there, there was a um, audio drama back in 2009, I think, that is okay. called Second Shift, that mm. really inspired me um, because it it opened my eyes to what character development could do. And okay. I really wanted to explore that by writing Counterbalance. Okay. okay. Um, so ever since then, I've... Um, I've like it, it opened my eye to like looking at the little the little details like, oh, so this character just said this thing. <laughs> which has like an impact on something like how how this this other character perceives this character later on in the story or like right right those little things and I really wanted to explore those in counterbalance which are not things I could do in Wolpertingers because it was a one off thirty minutes uh, thirty pages maximum thingy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was good though. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it. I was like, why I'm should glad. we do more of that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it may because the reason why I like this so much is because, like we mentioned earlier, I didn't know anything about mm -hmm. German folklore except for what I mm -hmm. except for Grimm, you know, yeah, <laughs> the little bit I've seen of that. But I and you start mentioning about these um whopper tingers, I said it right there because it. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a while. <laughs> when you start mentioning about those, I was like, oh, okay, I like this. This is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you here's the thing. You don't think bunnies are scary. No. But then when you see them like that. And it scared the shit out of you. I was like, oh, wow. Now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Even the I... jackalope looks scary with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I really wanted to do, like, I don't usually write horror, but uh -huh. I was pulled into this um, all women's group for that year of 11th hour. And okay. um, I was like, Let's see if I can figure something out that would scare me because uh -huh. I personally don't get really scared by the other stuff because it's very, I don't know, vanilla typical. Okay. okay. Um, and like, I don't, I don't, I don't do well with like s things that are very typical. I like it when it's, it's new and mm. uh, unusual. Like a lot of people um, in the 11th hour, they had like, not that there's anything wrong with them, but like they had mermaids or like vampires or okay. stuff like that. And I'm always okay. like, ah, guys, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that from, you know, doing something outside the norm. Yeah. Right. I, you know what I'm saying? What but like the, there is a challenge that comes with that, which is yeah. to explain the entire scope of why it's yes. scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, which was going to be my next question. So how 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 do you you formulate that that you can get people interested and, and not spend so much time explaining it? How yeah, how do you keep that balance between yeah. you know over explaining? Mm -hmm. Cuz sometimes you can just explain too much and like, okay, that's just too much information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then letting some of the actors or actresses do the, do the acting yeah. and kind of explain through mm -hmm. the acting. Yeah, how do you keep that balance? Yeah. Um, for Wolpertingers in particular, I, since I wanted it to become uh, like um, inspired by how 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 German audio drama works, mm -hmm. I had long passages in there that had like it, that were just monologue of the main character okay. that explained some of the um, situation. Mm -hmm. But that's not very usual in audio drama these days. Like like at least uh, the um, modern uh, American audio drama like. Right. Like White Wall, like actually White Wall has a little bit of explanation through those little uh, snippets that you get. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not the norm in audio drama to have uh, narration at all. And so one thing you should, like, uh, uh, German audio drama has a lot of narration. Mm -hmm. 
which is why that was in Wolpertingers. Okay. Mm, but you can get like mm, I wanted to show show what happens. Um, for example, how when they interact with the first Wolpertinger they meet, why this is scary by by showing what happens when they try to like kill it because it's scary. Right. Um, like put the character in the situation that shows what happens when you face that creature head on. Yeah, because I, I, I already brought that up. I like how when she shot the thing and you kind of left it to the side for a mm -hmm. minute and then the conversation on here was going. Yeah. And then at the same time, one of the uh, main characters was kind of narrating mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you can hear her saying, hey, this thing is, is shaking, it's moving. You know, because you almost forgot about the because you in your mind you can, you can see it laying off to the side. Yeah, you know, so you almost forgot about it, and then mm -hmm. you find out the thing uh, regenerates. Because because I know, like, if I'm hearing something like that, I'm like, hey, right? Don't, did y'all forget about this thing? <laughs> so, like, like, you, <laughs> so, like you, you were scared shitless of it just a second ago. Right. Like, like, let's not forget about right. it. <laughs> and, then, and, and then you find out that it regenerates. Oh. Uh, and, oh uh, yeah, and, yeah, that that'll scare the shit out of me like, too. Uh, and then <laughs> the funny thing too, what is so there's walking back to uh civilization and a whole bunch of them was just kind of walking mm -hmm. alongside of them. You know, oh uh, just like just pop up. Yeah, and, and, and so like um one of the other characters kind of narrating saying, Oh, you know, as long as you don't mess them, they okay, but they're making these strange noise. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking in my mind, they don't sound like they're okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Where's the machine gun? <laughs> So I think you did a good job with that because you know my mind was going a lot of different places. Yeah. Because you know, one on one hand, the character saying, "Oh no, just just leave them alone, ignore them." Nah, but you can, ain't no you can ignoring kind of shit. hear the voice. You can hear the, the uh, they the making sounds. Oh and yeah. You're like, what is going on? I can't be ignoring that. You know <laughs> so I, I think you did an excellent job with that. Funny thing about that, I did not. I I wanted the um, like all the voice like. I told you before, like we, I got pulled into this all women's uh, mm -hmm. little group for for eleventh hour, and okay. I was like, "How can I make use of all these voice actors?" And then I was like, <laughs> "Hey, you, make some animal noises. Send them to me right now." <laughs> so all the animal noises you hear in that in that episode are actually all the women women from that group. Oh like, wow! Um, nice. <laughs> doing animal noises. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so let me ask you this: How how um how I. Uh, intricate are you with making your uh your your uh audio for certain noises like because you said uh on white ball travis was using like oh yeah like so travis he used rat bones rat, he rat used bones and teeth and, and, and stuff to, to <laughs> get a certain <laughs> sound so how intricate were you with, with getting specific sounds that you needed um i personally don't do the sound design that's someone else who does it but, okay uh but sometimes she cannot um, get the the right sounds that she wants for because uh, I think as in Wolpertingers, for example, um, mm. it was done in October and it, okay. she's in Canada. There was snow on the ground, so she couldn't mm. do like the the walking sounds that were needed. So I had to do them for her because I had foliage. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I know she needs specific sounds, mm -hmm. I can go out there and g get them for her. Okay. Um, mm, but uh, I like I, I do listen out for interest, interesting sounds. Like uh, when I hear interesting sounds, um, I just grab the microphone and record them for her because she will end up being able to use them at some point. Right, mm -hmm. right. Um, but um, most of the time, I just write into my script okay. uh, the situation I want. Uh, okay. Like I, 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 uh, I give a, a description of the situation. Okay. I don't. Because I've seen in other scripts, they write something like uh, sound of door opening, sound of door closing, footsteps, <laughs> uh, a gun being knocked and uh, a shot is fired or something like that. Right. I um, I was told by another sound designer that you're supposed to write a description of the situation to inspire um, something in your sound designer. And so that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I okay. usually don't try to... Um, force any sound on my sound designers mm. but sometimes uh, i'm like i hear exactly this sound and i want you to use it uh, okay <laughs> so that yeah. does happen sometimes okay okay <laughs> so the um one thing i wanted to bring up i'm gonna play this clip when we're gonna talk about it mm -hmm. you can't do this i'm an american 
child! I'm a treasure! Well, you in Bavaria now! <laughs> you need to be punished. If you lay so much as one finger on me, I will per- Who you talking to? I'm Croppers, bitch. I'll do whatever I please. This is my expertise. Round the world, it's all the same. Children freeze when they hear my name. Crappers, please don't beat your soul. But do I listen? Sadly, no. 80% again. And I'm turning into dirt back. I just laugh. But Steve, oh Steve, you are the worst. Slap that butt with a branch of birch. Shake them chains till your ears go numb. See now just what you become. Show you that life is pain. Krampus. I want that Krampus can dance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Krampus. Or where does the idea of Krampus come from? Um, that's like from the south of Bavaria, from the uh, Alps. Okay. Um, uh, mm, I don't know where it originated from. I just mm -hmm. know that um, th um, the people of Bavaria, especially of the Alps, mm -hmm. they um they still celebrate Krampusnacht to this day because they their idea is to um that nature around them is an evil thing especially in winter which okay. is relatable if you live in the mountains of course mm -hmm. nature is scary <laughs> so <laughs> right. they wanted to wanted to make a personification of uh, of that um which is Krampus and uh, or rather they they wanted to to scare nature away mm -hmm. by dressing as Krampus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that is like the idea of the Krampus mm -hmm. run or Nacht or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> 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 so they basically want to be scarier than nature. Okay. Um, and this is a very old tradition that um, has mm -hmm. persisted throughout. Um, it's like a pagan uh, thingy okay. that, um, that they've been doing before Christian times. Okay. But um, since they are up in the Alps, which is very hard, uh, very inaccessible to mm -hmm. people from the lower lands, um, Christianity never really reached them up there or rather n didn't manage to root out the, uh, the Krampus mythos. Right. Um, because the people from the lower lands didn't, the, the, the Christian uh, missionaries yeah. never went up to, up to the mountain and uh, beat the people up that um, the Krampus, Krampus runs. And the people up on the mountains were like, go away with your fucking Christianity. <laughs> Nature is much more scary than your Christianity up here. <laughs> so you cannot take our traditions from us. And that is how it persisted over all those years. And, and so, um, it's actually pretty interesting, right? It is because yeah. I remember seeing years ago the movie, the movie Krampus. Have oh. you have you seen the movie Krampus? I don't think I have. Okay. Is it American made? <laughs> it probably is. Yeah, it probably is. It's probably American yeah. made. Yeah, I, I personally, I, I don't really like the way, the way that Americans portray uh, Krampus because for them it's always the evil version of Christmas. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Trust me, we don't like a lot of shit that Americans do. <laughs> how they. You know, portray a lot of shit. Right. So that's a whole other podcast. Yeah, that's a whole other podcast on <laughs> what a, a lot of Americans uh portray right. yeah. their so, version of. But it's interesting because I never really sat and watched like the movie Krampus like from beginning to end, but I always seen like bits and pieces of it. Like mm -hmm. so I might be at somebody's house like, in the middle beyond. I might watch from the middle to the end. No, I might see the beginning, but I never really sat down and watch it. From beginning to end. From beginning to end. Yeah. So mm -hmm. but when I heard you kind of talk about it. I was like, well, is that the same Krampus? Is that a different Krampus? And I saw that uh, episode of American Dad, and I was like, okay, is that a different Krampus? You know, <laughs> how many Krampuses are there? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't think they dance like that on all the Krampus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he, he I was, was grooving. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Krampus mainly for? Uh, I know somewhere they say that they dare to scare kids or something to that effect. 
uh, not necessarily kids. They want they really tried to scare nature spirits away. That's okay. why they dressed in like like with horns and uh, like demonic visages right. and furs and stuff. And they ran through the city trying to um, scare out the nature spirits that were right, right. in their city or like in on the mountain uh -huh. um, to try and get rid of uh, um, winter in general right. because winter is a scary time. Why would you yeah. not try to get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, so how I did don't that connection that. come? Because I know I've I, I heard. They're talking about like uh, was it December the sixth and Krampus coming down and kids being scared of Krampus and so you know how that connection came about. Um, December the sixth. I oh god, I read that the other day. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's because like December the sixth is like the dead of winter. Okay. So so they tried. Uh, it's um, before the before the winter solstice. Uh -huh. So they try to get rid of winter during that time because okay. um, resources are starting to get low and stuff. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Um, there is a time period between the 6th of December and the oh god, 6th of February okay. that, um, <laughs> that is uh, basically considered the time where, where all this Krampus stuff is happening, like when the when they want to scare out the nature spirits and stuff. Um, okay. That's when Krampus run is happening. Okay. Um, but I don't remember exactly why it was that time of year. Okay. Like other than than the fact that it's the dead of winter. When, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It I mean, makes sense. Yeah. That Krampus thing, boy. <laughs> no, no, just that winter shit. Like winter can be killing, man. I can scare the winter away sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. I mean, it's... they are on the mountain, and there's like. Uh, there is nothing but nature around them. Right. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a version of like Groundhog. Like Groundhog Day. I'm talking about like this. He, well, I guess, but Groundhogs ain't going around killing folk. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, Krampus are, Krampuses are uh -huh. the people that dress up with. Uh, Kramp what? Things. Whoa, say that again. Krampuses. <laughs> Oh. Well, is that like a creature that has a pussy? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that would sound like you said. No, that's the that's the plural of Krampus. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know. I'm just trying to make sure I get clarity. I'm like, who? What? <laughs> okay. Just I'm for sorry. clarification, the female version of Krampus is called a fur hole, fur whore. Oh, uh, a fur hole. <laughs> I've seen plenty of fur holes in my life. <laughs> But I understand. You, you got him started. Oh, Lord, you didn't got him started. The foolishness is about to come. I, I, I should have gave you a heads up. So how you invited me on this podcast. <laughs> fur holes and crumb pussies. You should do, you should do comedy. No. No, you, you would, you would, you would. Totally kill a stage. I cannot even uh, pronounce a single uh, proper English sentence in one go without stuttering. <laughs> Trust me, people will get past the stutter. If, if, you, if, you, if you kill them with jokes like that, they'll be like, what stutter? <laughs> so how did they get from fur whore for the female and then a, a male to call her Krampus? So oh, what no, is Krampus? I was talking about Krampusies. Oh. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Continue to cram pussy. Yeah, because you were saying that Krampus are these scary things that kill people, uh -huh. which isn't actually true. Like, okay. um, it was the people that dressed up as Krampus okay. to, <laughs> to scare away the nature spirits. So yeah, it was okay. never like an, an, a supernatural entity outside the village um, threatening the villages or whatever. It okay. was never a thing. It was so, always the people dressing up as Krampuses. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just something that's evolved over here because, like, from the movie, yes. it's just it's just it's just a creature that goes around um, killing I around Christmas time. I think it's it comes from the uh, this love from the Americans for uh, Halloween and okay. the fact that um, Germans have like this creature that is the 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 source of horrors or like. Um, very inspired by demonic uh, and pagan rituals and stuff okay. and okay. make out that that they were like oh 
So they must be celebrating Halloween on Christmas. <laughs> We are just adapting this and making our own shit out of this. <laughs> yeah, 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 good, good for that. Yeah, uh, uh, Americans have a very once distinct again, that's imagination. Another podcast. Another podcast. <laughs> another show. Yeah, we go. We go on know about that. <laughs> hey, we'll take everything of your native yeah. land and of. Uh, clothes and everything, and uh, we'll you Native Americans. We'll take this land. Oh, wow, we we'll right <laughs> <laughs> took a and deep we'll dive say, here. Y- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> then, hmm, uh, I like that. Let's take it. Oh, oh, and um, <laughs> and you know, we do import export, we export you Africans over here. Oh my. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's 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 just a, a quick overview of american history yeah <laughs> straight but, uh, straight to the beginning to the end right <laughs> it's been it's been fun cassie we have to do this again yeah i enjoy talking to you yes Aww. yes yeah that's fun um yes and any other projects you want to plug and let the audience know that is coming in the works uh, I'm only working on Counterbalance right now, okay. which is already out there. You can already find like the first four episodes of it, but it has been it on hiatus for like two years. But I'm currently working on something. Keep your eye out. <laughs> just, one, just one eye. <laughs> Those are called Cyclops. <laughs> oh, the marketing has took the other eye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now you got me. I don't know what I was. Saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Cassie, I, I we enjoyed. Yeah, you. we enjoyed you. We might have we have to bring you back again. Looking, looking something. to be a comedian. I'm telling you, you would kill <laughs> it. Right. Oh my yeah, god, you would kill it. Cracking up over here. You would kill it. <laughs> you know, it's the every, the whole persona yeah, is great. It's your energy. Yes, and we'll be looking for uh, all your stuff. If you got something new, let me know. And you know, so I can go look it up. Yeah, and let the audience know about it for sure. Yeah, because uh, good stuff. Right, great stuff. Mm. Thanks. Good stuff. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having me. Right. Oh, this was fun. <laughs> Unexpectedly. <It> <laughs> Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye bye. Have a good one. <laughs> hey man, that was good, man. Yeah, that was good. Um, Cassie is. is Definitely, she should definitely think about doing right, comedy, right? Because she's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 she's um, selling herself short. Right, right. <laughs> she, she's got some funny bone in her for sure. Um, but look, that uh, that's, pussy had me going. Yeah, crap. Uh, <laughs> I was worried because I'm like, oh lord, this might be a rabbit hole. We might not want to go down with this guy over here. <laughs> Too many cram pussies uh, over here. Like, somebody take that. <laughs> See, 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 and on that note, <laughs> someone say for <laughs> yeah, for all, yeah. I see on that note, uh, no, <laughs> you looking for it? Uh, no, I ain't got nothing over here for you, bro. <laughs> Not bussy. <laughs> she didn't say bussy. <laughs> uh, another great episode of another I Off the Wonder in episode. the books. Right, in right. the books, um, uh, we appreciate everybody's support. Uh, but you know, also go support. Our guests who have come on the show, right? Um, it's Kessie has been on White Vault, which we've had those, mm-hmm. uh, Travis and Caitlin, Katie, yeah, Katie. Katie. Mm-hmm. We've had them on the show, so go support White Vault. Um, counter counterbalance, counterbalance is mm-hmm. is Miss Kessie's new project. Four episodes, she right. says she's had out, and she's working on more. So keep your eyes and ears and out for that out one. The, uh, wolf. Uh, uh, you you, you had it, you already fucked. Uh, <laughs> you had it, you fucked the it up. And and stuff. <laughs> Check that one out. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know my lane. I did. I wasn't even gonna try. Walper Tanger. Walp, oh no. <laughs> Walp, uh, Tanger. Walp, uh, Tanger. I'm gonna have to write it on my hat or something. Uh, like. Something, yeah. Because you had it. I had it. And then you, yeah, yeah, it's all right. But you no. Check out that one. It's good. Yeah. Uh, so look out for for more projects coming from Miss Kessie. Right, right. Um, look. Going over to the website again, www.ioftheone19.com. Right, right. Get all the information you can. Of course, Apple iOS users, go to your Apple store, download with the IOW network app. Android users, Samsung users, whatever, Google Play, <laughs> I period O period W period, no space, network. Type it in. 
It'll pop up the radio app. Warp pop and takers. Up. Warp and takers. There you go. No, she, she just sent it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because <laughs> he was trying, oh and then he busted the shit out of it again. <laughs> call that again. But no, it's been it's another great episode in the books. Right, right. Um, your boy Wildcard Mar, Detroit Mail. Uh, look, until next time, God willing, peace. peace.